All right, guys, so first off, I want to break down the sectioning. Sectioning is real simple, four triangles, two in the front, two in the back, uh, separating top and bottom. I really just want to separate that fringe area, which you can see right there, uh, and then separate the back and the top. Um, and then we're using the Evo Razor Pro. I'm going to go in taking vertical sections and work that through. Now, watch how I glide through this with the razor, and then I kind of taper off at the end. And the reason I taper off is because I really want to create some of that extra length on the bottom. And you can even go a little extreme with it because you can always take off more length at the bottom, but this haircut is really relying on you having that length um, in there. So I just wanted to pause the video real quick and let you know that uh, we have an online store, freesaloneducation.com. Not only is there free education on there, you can sign up for my free seven day masterclass on becoming a better haircut but also you can pick up all the tools that I use in every single one of these videos like the new Evo Razor Pro. One of the cool things about the Evo Razor Pro is that this blade right here is actually just a standard feather blade so you can really purchase any feather blade you want to use it in. Maybe you already have feather blades, you can use those or we have our own uh, blades as well that you can purchase on our website. But really it just makes it a lot easier if you just want to get blades really quick from anywhere that you're out and about, you can do that. The benefits of this tool are the fact that it's super comfortable in your hand. Every different way that you decide to put this in your hand, it feels comfortable. We designed it specifically to be that. Also, it's made from a steel alloy uh, coating, so it feels, it's got a really nice weight to it. It feels almost like you're holding a scissor. It's that sort of weight, so when you put it in your hand, it feels very comfortable. You can palm it to get it out of the way, to comb the hair, and then when you want to bring it back, it's super simple as well. Uh, it's just got a really great weight to it. And also, I put this little pinch area on the tool as well so you can check that out uh, but it's just really easy to grip the tool if you want to get nice and tight and close uh, but you can also just put your fingers right in there and they fit perfectly in the razor so super comfortable really fun to use uh, we've got it on our website right now at a discount because we just launched this thing and it just started shipping so if you're interested in it and all the other tools that we have available on our website go check out freesaloneducation.com use the code FSE20. FSE20 will get you 20% off your entire order. And also we got free shipping on any order over $100 in the US. So when you finish this video, click the link below. We'll put it in the comments in the description so that you know exactly where to go, but go to freesaloneducation.com. Back to the video, here we go. Nice and short on the interior and then fade away to get that exterior length and just have it a little bit longer. This is something that you can do this with a scissor, but it's just so much easier with a razor uh, to go in and do it. So uh, again, Evo Razor Pro, you can see how we're going through, taking out that length. And then as I get to the bottom, I really leave out that length to create that shag effect. We're doing a short shag, like a pixie shag here. Uh, and having the longer hair around the edges is really, really going to benefit us in the end result um, as we go through it. So working the curve of the head, following the curve of the head, you could see my uh, diagonal back sectioning and just combing, but you can see my finger angle follows the head shape. So really just keep it with that head shape until we get to the outer uh, perimeter of the haircut and then we leave that length. And that's really the goal all the way through the sides and back of the head. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the right hand side of the head. Uh, again, just working that razor through, sliding out, leaving a little bit of extra length. And we'll do this all the way through uh, the sides and back, and then we'll move to the top. Because of the balance and weight with this razor, um, you guys will notice that I traditionally palm my scissor. Um, it just feels so comfortable to be able to palm this razor, whether you flip it around like I'm doing or just palm it to get it out of the way as you comb. It's always been the thing for me, especially with a razor. It's got like an open blade on it. It's not, you don't have to worry about cutting yourself because it's got a guard, but um, you can cut client's hair that you didn't want to cut. So being able to palm it, get it out of the way, is just such a cool benefit of the Evo Razor Pro. So now we're gonna take out the two back triangles on the top of the head and we're gonna work um, cutting uh, 
with a stationary guide. So we're gonna work those uh, vertical sections all the way through, you can see right there, and we're gonna bring it all back to that stationary point right in the crown area, which will uh, create extra length towards the front. Now, what is the difference between cutting with a razor and cutting with a scissor? The only difference, and a lot of people um, and clients and everything get freaked out by a razor, a razor creates a softer edge on a haircut. Um, the blade is super sharp. It's sharper than a scissor blade. Um, a razor sharp edge is a one of the sharpest edges, right? So you want to make sure that you have a fresh blade in your tool. Uh, and then from there, you don't have to worry about it damaging the hair. You're just going to get a softer result. Now, is that good for every single client? Not necessarily. Not everybody wants that soft result. Some people want to see a blunt edge. Other people with thicker hair or different um, hair cut uh, needs, if they want more texture in their haircut, then a razor is the perfect choice because you don't have to go in and then do all that thinning and point cutting and all that. You're already doing it pretty much with the razor uh, stamping that in. So you can see, bring everything back to me. And when I move that razor up and down, the more I move it up and down, the more shattered the edge will be, the more um, texture you'll get, the softer the line will be, the less weight and um, uh, kind of buildup of weight throughout the haircut is gonna happen. So there's a lot of benefits to using a razor, especially on short hair, because you really eliminate a lot of those issues that you might have uh, when you have to go back in after you blow dry the haircut and you see unwanted things in the haircut that you got to remove. So just really helps out a lot with that. So you can see that's the top. Now I'll take out that fringe area. And this is the beauty of cutting with a razor is just being able to bring this hair over, uh, over top of the nose and then a soft little back and forth with the razor. Again, gives me a soft line. It's going to push that weight back. So it's going to open up the fringe a little bit, um, but have that kind of descending line. So when you're cutting a fringe, you don't want to just go straight across uh, with scissors or a razor. Uh, being able to over direct it a little bit gives you a little bit more softness and kind of frames the face nicely with those pieces, which you can see right there. Um, and now uh, we'll go in, do a little finishing touches with the razor. And then this is a brand new tool that we also have launching, which I won't talk about it a ton. I'll talk about it in a later video, but super cool blend 40. Uh, which is my favorite scissor uh, all time for short hair right now. Uh, just being able to go in there, it takes out 40% of the hair. So it's I treat it like I'm cutting with a blunt scissor because you're taking out so much of the hair, but it just creates this beautiful texture uh, and takes out just a ton of weight, but you also can create lines with it, which is super cool. So just going through, uh, you can see I, I hold the section like typical and then I slide my hand out, which creates, um, just movement, texture, and removes weight in the haircut. A little bit of point cutting as well uh, after I blew it dry, and now some slide cutting. So this is the Blend 40 Elite uh, in our Elite Series scissors. And then look at how I just run this razor over top. Now this might freak some people out, be a little cautious with it. You don't push hard into it, um, but it just creates a fun texture on the top. Uh, now this might be one of my new favorite products. Um, I'm not even gonna promote it really, but I'm just showing you guys what it is because I'm using it in my hair. I'm using it in all kinds of stuff. I, I just kind of got obsessed with it. Christina actually picked it up uh, from the Cosmoprof, the local Cosmoprof, uh, Maria Nia, I think it's called, or Nilla maybe, um, but uh, the Gabro, I think it's called. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's it's that new to me, but she picked it up for our son and I got obsessed with it. So I'm using it on everything. Um, and this is my second round of it. So I just figured I'd throw it in the video. Uh, fi final touches. Uh, this is the end result of the haircut. Nice shag effect, a lot of texture, a lot of movement in it. Obviously you can put your own twist on it, but I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, be sure to check out all the tools on our online store, freesaloneducation.com. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.